We're working to program robots and other computational agents so they can be taught behaviors by anyone, regardless of their technical knowledge. Just like animal training, this research focuses on training by human-generated reward and punishment, or as we refer to it in our research, positive and negative reward. In this video, we illustrate instances of positive and negative reward through the color green for positive reward and through red for negative reward. We call our approach training an agent manually via evaluative reinforcement, or tamer. Here's how it works. A tamer agent, in this case the robot Nexi, acts to affect the state of its task environment. Nexi is given the option of moving forward, turning left, right, or standing still. Nexi's task state is the distance and angle from a marker that I hold in my hand. The marker has reflective surfaces that bounce infrared light up to multiple cameras, identifying the marker's position. Each time the agent takes an action in some state, that experience is temporarily saved for learning. As the agent acts, positive and negative reward is given with inherent delay by a human trainer, here via a handheld remote. Over time, the agent learns to take actions that will get it the most positive reward. The Tamer agent acts and learns through a series of three modules. After a state and action are experienced, they are remembered by the Credit Assigner module for a short period of time. This Credit Assigner module receives reward signals and divides credit for each signal among recent pairs of states and actions taken. Each of these state action pairs can receive shares from multiple reward signals. A state action pair and its reward sum create a learning sample for the supervised learner module, which in turn uses all the samples it takes in to create a model of human reward, effectively answering for the agent. If I take action X while on task state Y, how much reward can I expect from the human trainer on average? As new learning samples arrive, the human reward model is updated. The action selector module uses the most recent model to predict how much reward will be given in the current task state and opts for the action it expects to elicit the greatest reward. Because Tamer generalizes, giving negative reward too early can discourage the agent from ever trying certain actions again, as it surmises the action is generally bad. To lessen our reliance on negative reward, we developed a strategy I refer to as painting, where the trainer changes the state to make the agent's initial action correct. Moving around through all of these correct states, the trainer paints the region of states with lots of positive reward. After fully painting the state space where the first action is correct, the trainer then changes the state to make the action incorrect and gives a few negative rewards. The agent will then try a new action, and the trainer will again paint the state space where this action is correct, proceeding in this manner until all actions have been painted. All further reward simply serves to fine tune the training. Now let's see an actual training session. Here I'm training Nexi to follow the marker and then stop at a comfortable conversational distance. As the trainer, I first paint the stay action, giving positive reward at a wide range of marker positions that are roughly at conversational distance. Satisfied with my painting of stay, I then move the marker to a location at which Nexi should not stay and give negative reward. Now predicting negative reward for staying, Nexi tries something new. It turns out to be correct, so I proceed to paint the turn left action. Training proceeds along this rough painting strategy. Sometimes the strategy is violated to tune already painted actions or simply because of trainer error. Interestingly, this strategy is not generally applicable to Tamer. We are able to apply it in this training scenario because the trainer has control over the marker and thus over the robot's task state. Let's skip a few minutes of fine tuning to see what was learned.
by only changing the reward and marker locations, not the learning algorithm. We taught four other behaviors. To look away from the marker, to follow the marker and stop directly upon it, to be pushed by the marker from behind, and to throw a tantrum when the marker is not right in front of the robot. The Tamer was developed with simulated tasks, teaching a car to accelerate up a mountain, a cart to balance a pole, and a computer to play Tetris. Our vision has always included robotic tasks. The success with Nexi is promising. Soon, we hope to expand from a simple push-button interface to more human ones that generate reward based on vocal commands, facial expressions, and other ways we provide social feedback. We aim to apply this technology to empower people, potentially through enhancing neural prosthetics through training, brain-computer interfaces, possibly to train robotic arms through rewards originating in a person's brain, and human-robot collaborations.